Okay, teachers, here's how you can use the new class wallet. You should receive an email in your inbox through in your Google Mail. Um, and once you open that up, this is what you'll see. This is the email I received. It's from a Sujay Akuna class wallet. I received that earlier this morning. I opened it up. There's some links. Welcome, John. How to get started. Please click here to get started. Then you want to make sure you click on the first time login button. I already did that, so I can't show you how to do it, but it was pretty obvious. So at least for me, anyway, I found it pretty simple and easy to use. Hopefully you'll find so as well. Um, there's information for me as an administrator, but I also want to show you this right here, this training and support. I've been playing in that, and it is very helpful, and it has links to some YouTube videos that are really beneficial and easy to see and understand. So once you go in and you set it up, it'll set up your username and password, you'll log in, and once you do log in, this is the screen that you'll see. Here's the account set up for me at the moment. I don't have any money set up in there, but then again, I don't get teacher legislative money, so it's possible you already have a balance right here, but for me, I don't have a balance. But here's a couple things you need to do. There's two ways that you can spend your legislative money. The one that people are asking about the most that I'll show you is, what if I want to go to Walmart and I want to use the great sales because I can get crayons for 50 cents, 25 cents, whatever it is each. And I want to buy a bunch of those or I want to buy a bunch of notebooks or folders there. It's really helpful. How can I go to Walmart and use these funds? Well, right now, Walmart is not set up in their marketplace, so you have to go in and get reimbursed. Here is the process for reimbursement. It's right here, and they walk you through the steps. It's really simple. The first step you're going to do is they're going to ask you for your bank account and your um, bank account number and your routing number. If you have a checkbook, those are the numbers on the bottom of your checkbook. If not, uh, if you go online to your bank account, uh, they're usually your credit union or your bank uh, will have a link to a document that will show you what your account numbers are and what your routing numbers are. Um, I'm not really going to show you mine because it's kind of personal information, if you know what I mean. But you should be able to find that. If you don't know where to get it, you'll have to talk directly to your banking institution uh, or somebody else who's found it and is at their own banking institution. Uh, I don't think anybody can cover the multitude of options there are for banking institutions. So you'll just need to talk to somebody to follow up there. So right here, once you click on this, they'll ask you for your bank account number. They'll ask you to type it in again, you know, like when they want you to confirm the password, confirm your account number. Then the next thing they ask you to do is confirm your bank routing number. That's a nine-character number. It's on the bottom of a check if you still have checks. If not... Like I said, it's on that document. You'll enter it a second time. Then they'll ask you for the name on the account and the birth date of the person on the account. Well, for most of us, that's our name and that's our birth date. So, uh, but for some of you, it may be a little more complex than that. Once you do, they'll once you give them that information, they'll set it up, and then the first thing they're going to do is they're going to tell you, like right here, we're making micro deposits. So they're checking out the account. Uh, to see. So they're setting up the micro deposits and then here within two or three days I should know if I have the account. Once that's done, what you see in the reimbursement video um, that I'll send the link to in the email with this video, then you'll be able to know exactly what to do and how to do it. So that we've just talked about the reimbursement. Let's take a look at the shop in the marketplace. All I have to do is I'm logged into my account. I want to shop in the marketplace. I want to start shopping. Here is all the categories I can shop by. They have shop now. They have clear. They have all these categories. They have these special uh, discount places. Um, they have some of. They have categories. Or you can go in and say, Hey, I want to see all of the stores. Let's view what some of the stores are right here. So let's view the stores that they have in the list. Here's some of the stores you can shop at. As I went through the list, I was like, Oh, Carson De, uh, De Losa Publishing. A lot of things I've seen from there. Okay, um, other places that might be beneficial to use. Sometimes getting things from Home Depot. There you go, really good stuff. That's another fun place to shop through. Scholastic, uh, School Specialty. Uh, we can order a lot of things through School Specialty. So those are some of the places that we have an option of. I know in some of their examples they have Office Depot. 
I'm not seeing that listed here for us, but we have special deals for our school secretary, so you can still talk to them about that. Um, we'll get some more clarification. But here is the simplest thing. Let's say that I want to shop their classroom resources. So this is what I want to shop. All right, do I want to shop there? Yep, ooh, free shipping on orders over $75, nice. Uh, it's as basic as you can get. Here's the things that we can shop for. We have places where we can search the products list. It's pretty basic. So let's say that I want to buy this just for the sake of saying, hey, I'm adding it to my cart. Let's see my cart. Okay, there's my cart right here. Uh, for uh, Here there's some shipping charges, okay, uh, because of who I chose to buy and where I'm buying it from. So then I could review and check out. All right, that's what the charges are going to be. Let's check out. Okay, step one, I don't have any funds available, so I can put in my own personal credit card, and I can purchase things through here with my own personal credit card. Okay, if I had money and a balance in my account, which you guys would, but see, notice mine right here is zero. Uh, you could click right here and purchase it with your account money. You can make notes here. A lot of this just follows what they showed us in the uh, self-help video. But hopefully this gives you a basic idea of what to do. So let me know if you have any questions or concerns, staff. Appreciate it. Have a great afternoon.